What's good, viewer? This is your host, Spanky, with Pokemon Select Greninja, or as the French call him, Amphibinobi. Amphib the French are weird, man. Just call him Greninja. He's Greninja. I'm sure that means, like, Amphibious Shinobi or Amphibious whatever. I have re to do reviews on these. I got this review coming up. We're going back to Series 1, so I'm already on Series 5 with Tyranitar, and I'm kind of going back and... Looking through what I have and have not opened, and this I have not opened, obviously. So I have a couple more that I got, so stay tuned. But let's open this up, because I have loved all of these Pokemon Select figures. We got Greninja released from his plastic prison, and I'll just get it out of the way. My first complaint is that he is not stable on his feet. I know that he is a frog, and he'll likely be in some type of leaning pose. But you know, the other ones have all been very stable, and these, these little joints on the ankle here... Are just you know they're just too small for the overall he's a very top heavy figure and these are just little flat feet and these are tiny little ankle joints but i already know i already know that these stands are awesome and in the grand scheme of things at the end of the day it's not going to be an issue because those stands are amazing so we'll start the articulation from the you know i guess feet webbed toes from the top we got like this you know go way up and way down that's cool and they, they 360 all the way around these are very you know loose not the best but it, they're, they're still good this is series one and man this is supposed to have a joint right here but he's not okay there i had to show that the tongue was in the way i had to kind of force it but it did go right there so we've got some more articulation there at the knees and then does it swivel yeah cool Yep, 360 swivel right there. This is the most articulated Pokemon Select figure that I have opened thus far. Get you know out that much, but he's gonna go all the way around. We do get an ab crunch. He works out those abs. I didn't know that Greninja had a tail. Good to know. All right, shoulder articulation. Uh, we get quite a bit here. Sorry, he's gonna have to like turn him around. And, you know, get him the way you want. It's fine. Elbow. It's about as far back as it's gonna go right there then we get a swivel here and i'm surprised that there is no wrist articulation here kind of like they have here at the ankles why didn't they use that because i'm thinking in my brain if he's going to be kind of in that oh, let's see if i can do it like yeah he's he's just going to be like that he can't lay it flat do you get what i'm saying like like if you can see my hand where's the box at let's see if they do it on the box they don't do it in the box so if you can kind of picture in your head with me Kind of that superhero landing pose that you see Greninja in a lot in a lot of photos where he's down like this You can't do it because there's no articulation here. So that is disappointing. He is just a very uh, lanky figure, but The joints do seem pretty stiff Overall, they're not bad. They're not like super loose or anything. Let's give it like a little jiggle test Yeah, not super loose or anything. So that's good now I wish this tongue was made out of the same material that was made out that the dragon pole tail was made out of and something else. Man, I keep forgetting the something else. There was two things. Please go watch my dragon pole review because I nerded out over the t the tail of that dragon pole for like 30 minutes and I think this would have been a great opportunity for that type of rubber that they used it was a very static rubber where if you moved it it would kind of hold its pose it was really really good what was the other figure man that's gonna it's gonna bug me i have to go look now but the tail the tongue here is articulated right there right here as well and here at the base i don't know why it needs that much articulation but i mean you got it i guess you can move around quite a bit i don't know this kind of <laughs> <laughs> this kind of looks funny to me. I don't know why. But overall, mold, pretty good. I like it. Uh, this is probably, man. See, this doesn't have that kind of 360 texturing to it. Um, that cutout, that, ugh, man, it's hard to explain on these because I'm doing so many reviews, but it just, is just kind of just painted on. And the other ones, like they have, it's just it's kind of like cut out. So it gives it a little bit more of like a... Like a, like a 360 view to it, I guess, or a textured. I'm, I'm not really sure how to explain that. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it's it's a great figure. It's very cool to have. I just think that if it was like a Series 3 or 5, they probably would have, you know, done a little bit better. But yeah, it is what it is. It's not bad. And it's not as bad as a Rayquaza. The Rayquaza was horrible. And this is still a great figure for 20 bucks. 
I love these stands. Can you hear that? Oof. Oh, well, wow, man, I say that. That does it happens almost every every video, but they're very stiff. They hold very well. So, ooh, we got three points on this stand. Pretty sure. Yep. They're, they're very stiff, very, very well put together stands. I think they could almost sell these stands alone. I mean, these. Uh, if you if you look for stands online, you probably spend just as much on a stand as you would like an actual figure. So, but uh, that's just a whole other tangent. But they stand very well. Look at this. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Wow, I probably just didn't put it in. <laughs> so as I was saying earlier, he may have uh, bad articulation or weak articulation on the ankles. We'll say it's bad. It's not going to matter because this stand is going to more than make up for any faults in the articulation and he's still going to be able to do a lot of dynamic posing and stick the posing very well put this up on your shelf and it is it's it is going to move i guess hmm this is the first time this has ever happened twice interesting maybe i mean it is it's putting a lot of stress but overall it should stand very well i mean unless there's an earthquake it's not going to stand but you know little kids bump into it or something it should hold pretty well and this is wow okay okay i'm i'm eating my, i'm putting foot mouth over here i'm bragging on these stands but this has been by far the weakest one I, this might be also the first one with three points that i've opened usually the other ones they have two at the most so anyways enough rambling about the stand let's get into these shurikens they plug into the hand like that kind of looks like he has little pancakes in his hand little that's where they plug in there in the hand and these are kind of made out of no it's not a softer well it is a little bit softer plastic they have a little bit of bend to them kind of a boring design i'm not sure what they look like i can't think of the top of my head what they would look like you know in the show and stuff but these kind of these look like, like starfish than shurikens they're kind of bland hmm not my favorite either <laughs> but you should be able to get into some pretty cool Dynamic shuriken throwing poses, whatever your imagination can, you know, come up with. So, let's get to his length and size and scale. So this looks like I'm not going to count the tongue, and he is a little bit bended, and that's fine. Counting the, I guess you call that ears. I don't know. Let's go in the back. So he is actually. The same as the Tyranitar and the Susween, Susween that I just opened. He is a little bit over six inches overall in height. There's no way that's accurate. There's no way that Greninja is as tall as a Tyranitar or a Susween. I, I, there's no way. I, maybe someone, I guess someone will tell me if I'm wrong. But there, there is what I'm getting into is that I like tell everybody is like to add this. Um, there is no real scale to these Pokemon scale figures that I have heard of or that I've known, they all kind of seem just to be about six inches tall, just a little bit over. Um, and that has been kind of the, the the running kind of thing for all of them. And they do scale well with other Pokemon scale. They really don't. Hmm. They don't, uh, I'd have to look up the heights and maybe go through, do a whole nother video about scaling on these, but let's just leave it at that there is no scale and that this figure is just over six inches you know, tall before I go into some big long rant about everything. Greninja is definitely not going to be my favorite Pokemon select figure, but for 20 bucks, the amount of articulation, a great stand, I think it is a great value for your buck. It is the only articulated Greninja figure that I know about. Um, so, I mean, that's Big kudos there, you don't get many choices, but at least the choice that we get is a solid choice and a solid option. Well, it's not even really a choice. At least the figure we get is a solid, you know, buy. Overall, definitely gonna recommend it. I recommend them all. These are by far my favorite Pokemon figures to date, um, especially these are the only articulated ones. A lot of them are just, you know, static or molds. So go check it out. I had it in series one, so you probably won't find it. And I'm not sure if they're only available at Target. A lot of the new ones are only available at Target, so. Check it out. Please check out my old videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Be safe. Peace.